Hey guys, it's Haley from The Modern Ferret, and today I'm going to teach you how to potty train your ferret. The goal, no more rogue poops. All right, let's get started. Owning a ferret means you need to put up with a lot of crap. Literally, so much poop. Poop on the carpet, poop on your baseboards, poop on the wall. I don't even know how that happens. And if you want to curb this bad potty behavior, the best thing you can do is have consistent training and use the correct supplies. So that's what I'm gonna cover in today's video. Let's begin with some basic supplies that you're going to need to potty train your ferret. Number one, you're gonna need a good litter box. A good litter box is one that is big enough to fit your ferret's entire body. Also, it has low lips on the area they're gonna back up into. And ideally, it has higher lips on the two back faces so that when they back up, they don't poop on the baseboard or on the wall or it doesn't like drop behind your cage. Number two, you're gonna need to find a safe litter for your ferret because believe it or not, there's actually some cat litters out there that are toxic or harmful to your ferret. The American Ferret Association has a really good resource that explains all this in way more depth. I'll make sure to link to that in the description below. Number three, you're gonna to wanna to find a healthy treat that your ferret likes to use for praise and positive reinforcement when you're doing this whole potty training process. We personally like to use salmon oil. Our boys go crazy for it. I have links for all the products I just talked about in the description below, so make sure to check it out. When it comes to potty training your ferret, there's several different schools of thought. For us, we've had the most success when we go right back to basics and start potty training inside their cage. Whether it's for a new ferret or a stubborn older ferret, it seems that going back to potty training within their cage is a great way to remove environmental distractions and really allows your ferret to focus on fulfilling their duty. Quick disclaimer, this method is not advocating for locking your ferret up 24 seven inside their cage while they master potty training. It just means having them poop and pee in their cage before you let them out so they can get used to that routine. You're focusing on getting your ferret to master going to the bathroom in the right spot inside their cage before they graduate to other rooms inside your house. You have all your supplies on hand, so now it's time to set up your cage properly for potty training. First, take that litter box that we talked about and put it in a specific side or corner of the cage. Next, you're gonna to wanna to either put potty pads down or litter, whichever you prefer. And if you have any like old poop on hand somewhere in your house or in the cage, go ahead and put that in that litter box so that it tells the ferret, that is where I'm supposed to go to the bathroom. Next, what you're gonna do is make sure to place water bowls, food, blankets, toys in other areas of the cage where you don't want them to go to the bathroom because typically ferrets are not known for wanting to go to the bathroom in a place that they eat, drink, sleep, play. They like to have different areas for different activities. Now that you have everything set up, it's time to potty train your ferret. Your ferret is in their cage and they've been in a deep sleep for a while. Go up to their cage, say hi, get them to wake up, get their body systems moving, they're yawning, they're stretching. Most likely they're gonna wanna go to the bathroom within the next 15 minutes. So don't let them out of the cage yet. You can interact through the bars, that's fine, but wait for them to go to the bathroom. Now, when they go to the bathroom, ideally they're gonna go in the correct spot. And when that happens, make sure you praise, reward your ferret with that treat you have on hand. If you're doing clicker training, you have that clicker and you tell them that they did a really good job. Now, if your ferret does something I wanna call phantom pooping, where they back up in the corner and just kind of sit there and they're like, did I do it? And then they go back up to the cage. They're basically fake pooping. Don't give them a reward for that because you'll be teaching your ferret that to get a treat or praise or to get out of the cage, they just need to go in the litter box. They don't need to go to the bathroom or anything. They just need to stand there. So don't reward your ferret until they actually go to the bathroom. Next up, when your ferret goes to the bathroom, you give them that treat or praise. It's a perfect time to take your ferret out of the cage to have them start associating Going to the bathroom in the right spot means I get to go play outside the cage. That's the connection that you're trying to establish for your ferret. After you let your ferret outside the cage to play, you should have a few hours of poop-free playtime. 
and eventually your ferret's probably gonna curl up and fall asleep again. When that happens, pick your ferret up back in the cage so that you can do it all over again, the same potty routine for the next time that they wake up. Put them in there, they wake up inside the cage, they go potty in the right spot, you're good to go, you praise them, you let them out of the cage, they start learning. Good things happen when I go potty in the spot. This is something you probably wanna keep up for at least a week or until you feel really confident that your ferret has mastered going to the potty in the correct spot inside their cage. After your ferret masters good potty behavior inside the cage, it's time to let them graduate to the rest of the house. But it's important to keep in mind that you don't give them immediate access to everywhere. You start with one more room and you make them master that room and you move on to the next room and the next one. When it comes to giving them access to a single room, what you're gonna wanna do is just like with the cage, you select a corner in that room for the litter box. In the other corners of the room, you're gonna wanna put food, water, toys, blankets, bedding, all that kind of stuff to discourage them from going to the bathroom there. In that corner you put the litter box, just like with the cage, you're gonna put that potty pad down or you're gonna put litter, whichever one you prefer. And then if you have uh, older poop on hand, you put it in there to help them know for sure that is the potty spot, not these other corners. Ideally, your ferret will go through the same process they did with the cage and you will be there when they wake up from their nap and you will observe them for the next 15 minutes to guarantee that they go to the bathroom in the correct corner that you designated for them. As soon as they do, just like with the cage, you're gonna praise them, give them a treat, all that kind of stuff. Good poo-poos, good job, Amber. Whoa. You need to reinforce, that's where you go to the bathroom, not there, there, or there. Once they master that room, you can go to the next room and so on and so on. Keep this process up and in no time at all, you should have a potty trained ferret on your hands. According to the American Ferret Association, ferrets poop every three to four hours, especially in our experience, kibble-fed ferrets. Maybe Albert's gonna go poop right now. I don't know. Now, if you are in the process of potty training your ferret right now, it's really important to try at least to be around your ferret every time they go to the bathroom. That way, if they have a good potty and they go in the right spot, you're there to praise and reward them or if they want to go potty in the wrong spot, you are there to immediately correct that behavior and get them on that right path. Repetition and consistency are key when it comes to successfully potty training your ferret. There's a couple behaviors that are pretty easy to spot. Number one is if your ferret is playing or wrestling with their brothers, They'll stop whatever they're doing and make a beeline for some place in your house. Another situation is if your ferret is in the middle of a deep sleep and they bolt up super awake and then again they beeline for a specific place in your house. This is a pretty good indication that they have to go to the bathroom. Now when they're right about to go to the bathroom, what they're gonna do is flip their body around, back up and put their tail up. This means they are literally seconds away from going to the bathroom. The easiest time to reinforce good potty behavior in our experience is first thing in the morning when you go see your ferret to say hello. Whether they are in a cage or have access to a ferret room, feel free to interact with them, but don't take them out of that space until they go to the bathroom. Ideally, you want to be there every time your ferret goes to the bathroom to correct bad behavior and reward good behavior. But like I said, in our experience, that first morning poop is usually the easiest one to catch. If you want your ferret to keep up this good potty behavior, it's really important to clean their litter box very frequently. Like I mentioned before, ferrets hate stepping in old poop and pee, and if they find it in their litter box, they will opt to find other places to go to the bathroom. To avoid this, clean your ferret's litter box at least once per day. If you're using litter, this means scooping out that poop and pee. If you're using litter pads, this means removing and replacing that entire litter pad. We also recommend emptying out the entire litter box at least once a week and scrubbing it with soap. If you want a tip on how to extend the life of your potty pad, what we've actually done in the past is if a ferret poops like right smack dab in the middle of that potty pad and we don't want a ferret to step in it or find another place to go to the bathroom, we'll actually take a little piece of toilet paper or paper towel and put it on top of that old poop so that the next ferret that backs up doesn't step in it. If you plan to transition your ferret from litter to potty pads, a good way to start is by placing a potty pad underneath that litter. 
Then the next thing you can do is if your ferret has a tendency to try to get under the potty pad or tear it up and mess with it, you can tape it down so that it really stays in place. I'm really happy that we actually trained our ferrets to go to the bathroom on both litter and potty pads because there's certain situations where one works better than the other and it's really nice that they understand that both of those are a bathroom. For example, when we're traveling, I'm really happy that we can use potty pads instead of litter. Next. Next, I'll go over the most common questions that we get about ferrets and potty training. But first, if you're new to my channel, my name is Haley and I post educational and entertaining videos about ferrets every week. And this is a perfect time to subscribe, like, and comment. I'm trying to go to them. Yes, you are. If your ferret has an accident, don't yell at them, hit them, or rub their nose in the potty accident. This will only serve to confuse and frighten your ferret and really hinder the whole potty training process. Instead, clean up the accident as best you can to remove that smell. And then in the next section, we'll try to figure out why your ferret missed in the first place. So there's two possible scenarios that I wanted to go over to tell us why your ferret might be missing the litter box. Scenario number one is your ferret poops next to the litter box. So the good news is this kind of indicates that your ferret does know where they're supposed to go to the bathroom, but it could mean that maybe the litter box is too small or the ferret's litter box is too full of poop and pee and so they don't feel comfortable going in it. The best thing that you can do is clean your ferret's litter box a lot more often and also make sure that you have a litter box that's big enough, again, to fit their entire body in it and has a low enough lip in the front for them to back up into it. Scenario two is that your ferret poops in a completely different place than their litter box is in. So say you have a litter box in the kitchen and they poop randomly in a spot in the living room or in your bedroom. This could indicate that you don't have enough litter boxes throughout your house. If your ferret has a particular place that they like to hang out and nap and then they go to the bathroom directly after that, place a litter box closer to that area. Now, as far as missing goes, if you want tips and tricks on how to properly clean ferret potty accidents and stains, make sure to check the link in the description below. Sometimes ferrets choose potty locations before you can even put a litter box down. And sometimes ferrets choose to select a potty spot that is a horrible place to put a new litter box. Like for instance, your front door or something like that. So if it's a spot like that where you absolutely cannot put a litter box there, a way to deter your ferret from going to the bathroom is by putting blankets there, bedding, you can put their food, water, toys. Typically ferrets don't wanna to go to the bathroom in the same place that they eat or drink. If that doesn't work, you can actually just block off rooms entirely. In our own home, we have the kitchen blocked off and a couple bedrooms, and that really helps keep their accidents to a minimum. If you wanna use the same ferret gate that we like, I'll make sure to link in the description below. Litter training takes time with any animals. Puppies can take up to like six months to learn how to be potty trained. Cats don't automatically know how to do it. And ferrets are not any different. You know, they're not born knowing how to use a litter box and why they're supposed to go in this corner of the house, but not that one or that one. However, over the years, I've learned that ferrets are incredibly intelligent creatures and they are willing to do just about anything to make you happy, especially for a treat. All right, I wanna hear from you guys. Did this cage training potty method work for you? Make sure to leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for watching, and if this was weaselly the best thing you've seen all day, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks guys, bye. Today we're gonna to talk about pooping. You're not gonna use that, don't worry. like, Bryce, do you see that? It's <laughs> an advocate. Adverb all the way from time to You're the best train to go. Yes, you are. Okay. Bum, 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 These guys bum, like bum. Are